Hello, my name is Eva Jeske. I'm a visual artist living and working in Cologne, Germany. I grew up in a smaller town, not too far away from Cologne. I grew up painting and drawing. It was something we did at home. I always loved it. It came quite natural to me and I was quite good at it. It also helped me going through very tough periods in my life. So art was always an outlet for me and I also learned uh, during you know, the beginning of my life that the better you are at drawing something realistically, um, the better you are as an artist. We also grew up uh, in something like a working class environment, uh, so pursuing art in a professional manner was not really something we did. I also wasn't really in contact with fine arts and um, never really went to a museum and stuff like this. So. What I learned at home was how to draw, but not to take it further. And I wasn't really in contact with different concepts of art and what, what's there. Um, that changed when I was um, in my early 20s. Um, I got in contact with experimental film here in Cologne. That blew my mind. It was so fascinating to me how you can produce a, a film and how this, what this can do to you, how a flickering film can be musically interpreted, what there's possible with old materials and old technology. And I was very drawn to it. And it started uh, for me this journey I'm still on, um, exploring the abstract art and how this, what this is doing to you and what, what it can feel like to look at something like this so as you can see in my art now there are no traces of my upbringing anymore um, i'm also not um, concerned with topics from classes and um, very specific things that you could do with art um, which is also very good like political statements and questioning our world and all that is very very wonderful um, I'm just not interested in that. Um, next to experimental film as a big influence, um, I also got to know contemporary music and also new music and um, how do you say it? Uh, sorry. Improvisation. <laughs> I call it sound based improvisation. Um, also here in Cologne. We have a wonderful scene of amazing music that also broadened my um, ex like experiences and thinking about music, how you can play an instrument. You have, it was, again, very mind-blowing for me to see what there's possible with sound, that sound can actually open up space. That it's not only time-based, time it's also very bodily and sometimes sculptural so um, getting to know this type of art was very influential and is still influential um, you can see that I have a lot of cooperations with musicians and composers where we explore this um, border that you can have um, between visual art and music um, is there a border? How, how can you interpret different art pieces and all that? So I'm very <laughs> into that topic. And um, in general, my art is very abstract in the sense that I am not abstracting from um, an object. And I also don't want to express something with my painting. What I am interested in is what happened in the space between the painting as an object in itself once it's finished and an observer like this, or the line or a dot or bigger movements, how this resonates with the space and with someone who's looking at it. I find that very interesting. I studied philosophy and also there, I'm always interested in um, how you see the world, all the epistemic topics, um, I like to, I love to go deeper, dive deeper and go to like basics of human perception and what it 
means to be in the world. Um, I still do that with my paintings and um, yeah, that's like a, a, a focus of mine as the question, if you interpret it musically, what can you do with that and how can you cooperate with musicians and composers? I'm working on an installation on that topic with a very cool composer at the moment. Mm, what are the biggest challenges of being an artist is the next question. Um, for me, it is the administration part of it. Um, so a lot of time when you're a prof professional artist is writing stuff, organizing stuff, um, applications for fundings and residencies and all that takes up a lot of time and you sit a lot of time in front of a computer. This is quite challenging for me because it takes a lot of energy away from actually doing the art and going deeper into techniques, finding new materials and all that. So having a balance there is something I struggle with sometimes. Um, of course, producing art and um, if you have a conceptual art piece, of course, there is also struggle involved there and challenges. But I, I kind of love these points because I know I'm growing. <laughs> if something doesn't work out or I'm frustrated because it doesn't look the way I would love to or whatever, um, I know it's a, the process of doing an artwork so I am really happy now about these times. Um, the next quest question is what advice would you give to your younger self? Mm, many advices. <laughs> uh, one of them would be don't take everything too seriously and trust in yourself and give yourself the permission to do what you want. Because it took me a long time to show my art publicly because I was afraid it's not good enough and I don't have an agree, a degree from a university. So I was very insecure about that. So I would say, stop, to, stop that. <laughs> Trust yourself and give yourself the permission to do what you actually want to do. Um, have you ever tried any unconventional mediums or techniques? Yes, that's all I'm doing. This is also something I learned from the um, music scene here in Cologne, that you can produce a very interesting sound by um, playing your instrument in a different way, in very unusual ways. So I just very intuitively transmitted that to producing paintings because I almost never use a brush I use other papers, um, I use a razor, there are um, also instrument stuffs like um, a brush stroke from uh, a drum set and all that. And this gives, I think, very interesting structures and movements and also movements that I can't always, um, like, uh, I don't know from the beginning that this is something that will come out of it, which I love. Mm. Do you listen to music or have any other type of background noise while you work? I did when I started this abstract artworks. Um, I had a lot of, yeah, I loved listening to music while painting because it helped me getting in this flow state, in a state where I don't judge my work while painting, I don't have any expectations. Um, but the more I learned these te techniques and the more I... Um, got into the process itself helps me getting into the flow state and also listening to the sounds I produce while painting. So listening to music got more and more distracting. So at the moment I don't have any background noise or music playing while painting. Like painting is kind of the music itself now. Um, what's the best reaction someone has had to your work? Uh, it was crying. Someone looked at it and was so touched by what he was seeing that he cried. And that was so wonderful and for me such a proof of how impactful art can be and how like what that, that a painting can change your worldview and how you feel and what you think is possible and 
that you can feel understood and by a painting it was very a very important um, reaction I witnessed um, last question what do you hope people take away from your artwork um, that's a good question um, my hope is that there is any kind of reaction to it and um, it can, like, uh, I don't have something specific in mind. Maybe I hope that it opens up their world a little bit, that they have a new thought about art and how you can look at the world as you do with when I say um, you can interpret my art musically that maybe this is something like a new thought and they start listening to a painting and see that musical aspect also in other artwork. So broaden the possible experience of the world. This is something I would love people to go away with after they have seen my artworks. Um, and I am also very curious also every time someone's looking at my art what they see and feel and hear um it's always special and yeah i think that's it thank you for listening to it and um just wish you have a good day bye bye